In this video, we are going to evaluate some basic algebraic expressions for the value of the variable x equals 5. So basically what we're doing here is we're replacing the variable in each of these expressions with the quantity 5. So let's take a look at the first one. So wherever I see the x, I'm going to replace it with the number 5. So instead of x plus 3, I have 5 plus 3, which equals 8. Now, in the second one, we're multiplying 3 times the value of x. So I'm going to use the skeleton method here. So this means I have the coefficient of 3, and I'm multiplying it by whatever value x is going to represent. So I call it the skeleton method because we leave an open set of parentheses right there, and then we insert the value of the variable. So this is the skeleton right now, and then watch, I'm going to insert the 5. So now I have 3 times 5, so this is 15. In the next one, we have x to the power of 3. So now the variable is our base. So that means I have an open set of parentheses, and whatever I put inside those parentheses is my base raised to the third power. So I have 5 to the third power, which means I have three factors of 5. 5 times 5 times 5, and I get an answer of 125. Now, in the next one, you'll notice my base is 3, but my exponent is the variable. That means the exponent is the number that can change depending on the value of the variable. So I have 3 to the power of x, and in this case, I'm going to replace x with 5. So I have 3 to the fifth power. This means I have 5 factors of 3. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So I can just start multiplying from left to right. 3 times 3 is 9. So then I have 9 times 3 times 3 times 3. <laughs> 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 times 3. And you can keep going on your calculator, and you should end up at 243. You can also use what's called the caret button on your calculator, and that allows you to take a base and raise it to any power. So I would start by inserting the number 3 on my calculator. Then I would look for the button on my calculator that looks like an arrow pointing up. That's called the caret button, and that indicates that we're going to have an exponent. So I would type the number 5 afterwards. So these are the keystrokes. The number 3, the caret button, the number 5, and then your equal sign, and you should get 243.